my girls, a. Eh? And what is going, my blessed squad? And what is going, my people, a? Eh? Y'all are back at it again with another video. To be honest with you, I really need to come in with a good intro every single time. Every single time I need to come in with the same intro. Like, what is good, blessed squad? What is that back on my floor? Oh, it's not. It's really nothing. It's literally the sun beaming on coming through my blinds or whatever. But y'all, today I'm about to be doing a video, it was, it was requested, and I know there are a lot of videos that are requested right now, but some videos I can't get to just yet, and there are a lot of reasons for that, but I'm not sure what the exact requested videos are, they're all in my notes, and when I can get to those videos, I sure will. I'm really, really hoping that I'm not going to take up too much space on my phone today, because I have like a lot of pre-filmed pre videos, and sometimes I can't even export my video to my camera, but I really wanted to get this video done, because first of all, I got up and got ready today, and... Which I do every single day, but sometimes I get a little extra ready. Um, so today I got up and got ready, and I was like, let me just film this video because if it's requested and females really need help, I want to help them as soon as possible. So basically, as you guys can tell by the title, today I'm going to be um, showing you guys or telling you guys how I stay fresh on my period, which a lot of girls don't know how to stay fresh on their period. So I'm just going to be telling you guys how to stay fresh all throughout your period, that week of your period. Personally, I have like my period for like... Mm, three to four days um sometimes it could last a week but usually it doesn't i want to say that you should never be ashamed of your period um let's say you have to come out of class you have to walk to the bathroom to go you have to come out of class to you know go change something please go to the teacher and don't be ashamed to say anything and if they tell you that you can't girl you might as well just walk out because this is really personal it's really serious it's something that we have as females we literally have a period as females and it, we can't control it. There's nothing that we can do about it. It just comes at a certain age and we have to deal with it, right? So we're dealing with it by taking care of it, right? So go take care of your business. But yeah, y'all, all I'm trying to say is never be ashamed of your period and um, just, just don't be ashamed of it. I know that a lot of people don't like to talk about it, which I don't even talk about it either. I don't really like to talk about it that much, but that's normal. A lot of females don't really like to talk about the period. I mean, it's their downstairs area. It's not something that you really want to talk about. It's not something that you need to be posting about. It's not something like that. But just don't be ashamed of it. It is natural. Don't think that there's anything gross. It's literally so natural. Every single female has it, and every single female is going to have it. So it's okay. That is how you're going to have kids. That's the only way. That's how you know you're going to have kids, girl. That's how you know you're going to have kids. But, yeah, y'all, let me stop rambling and get right into this video. All right, so... Um, as we know, that time of the month, sometimes, and, you know, for certain females, they don't have a different scent, and some females, they do have a different scent. So, with that week or whatever, during that time of the month, it's going to, you know, smell a little different for some females, and some females, I mean, it might not. So, with that being said, I know a lot of females really do have, like, some, a hard time trying to get the scent away, and they don't really know how to smell fresh on their period. So, I'm just going to be sharing with you guys how I stay fresh, and if this helps you, I'm really, really happy. And if it doesn't help you, I'm really, really sorry, but this is literally what was requested and this is what I used to stay fresh so I'm really hoping that it works for you guys as well okay so the first thing that I request is to take a hot shower I do not request cold water I do not request like that warm water I do request hot water now if you can't deal with hot water just get the warm water because warm water will get you clean as well but hot water is just really going to get rid of the odor and get rid of the scent all right but don't think that hot water is just going to get rid of the scent because definitely that's not going to just get rid of the scent but that's like the first tip is to use hot water when you are cleansing yourself okay but don't be thinking that that hot water is just going to clean you though sis don't be thinking that that hot water is just it don't be thinking that okay i'm gonna tell you what you gotta do okay you gotta get up in the shower you gotta get a washcloth you gotta get a rag whatever you want to call it and I like to use this Johnson's Baby Moisture Wash. Now, I don't use Summer's Eve because I do not need it. And I don't think that anybody needs it because, honestly, it says that it helps you with your it says that it helps you with your pH balance, but it really does not. It really messes up your pH balance, so I really do not request that. Y'all do not mind this. This is my birthmark. I really should do a story time on it with my mom because my mom's gonna be able to one. My mom's gonna be the one to be able to explain why I got where I got this birthmark from. But anyway. Yeah, y'all, I like to use Johnson Johnson's um, Baby Moisture Wash and a rag and hot, and hot water. So what I do is I lift my leg up in the shower, and you want to get your washcloth. You want to get some hot water on it, and you want to get, like, at least five or six pumps of this, and you want to get it real soapy, and you want to get down there. And you do not want to go inside of your, um, this is the thing. People might find it awkward for me to say vagina, but that is literally what it's called. I literally was watching a video yesterday, and I tend to not call it vagina, but when I was watching it, there was a lady that works with um, females like that. What is she called? She is called a... I feel really slow right now because I do not know what she's called. She is a... She is a... 
what is it called? Oh my gosh, I don't know, I know, but you know the women that work from the waist down on women, like they work with the areas like that. I forgot what they're called, but she was saying, do not call it anything else. Call it the vagina because that is what it is. Do not try to mask it. That's another way how girls feel uncomfortable about themselves down there because people like to call it different names, try to act like it's not this and this and that, but it's really a vagina. Now, listen. The part that is your actual vagina is the whole part. The rest of it is like the vulva and like the labia, stuff like that. Okay, so with that being said, all you want to clean is the exterior of your vagina. So you just want to clean the vulva and you just want to clean like the outside the lips and stuff like that. Make sure all of that is clean. But I do not suggest you going inside of your vagina with any soap or anything like that. If you are going to clean your inside with anything, I just suggest water. Even though the lady told me yesterday on that video, she told me that you're not supposed to use water even but i believe that water is definitely not gonna harm you i believe that you'll be okay if you use water so go ahead and use water because i don't think that you're just not supposed to clean up there i think that you can use water um so yeah now you guys may be asking why would i use baby wash on my menstrual cycle like why would i do that honestly you do not need all that other um summer's eve and perfumey stuff because it's really gonna knock off your ph balance and make you smell even worse so use the most sensitive wash that you can use because that's actually that's actually like the cleanest and freshest you're going to get because they do not have a lot of chemicals and they're not going to change your area down there and they're not going to change the ph balance we have a certain ph balance and once you use certain things and once you put certain things up there then you are literally going to cause an infection you're going to knock off your ph balance it's a really sensitive area and we really have to take care of it as ladies okay all right you guys so the next thing that I do and the next tip that I would suggest for you guys to do is to use razors not use razors is to shave um now I'm not against any females that do not shave um all right mama it's time to eat but I'm not against any females that do not shave because honestly hair is natural and if you do not want to shave you do not have to shave okay do not let anybody tell you different do not let anybody tell you different it's natural it's there for a reason obviously I'm not really sure what the reason is but it's there for a reason okay but you know hair can definitely hold bacteria and it can hold odors so, with that being said, I definitely suggest for you to shave because shaving will really, really help you guys out. So, basically, when you have a lot of hair down there and sometimes you're sweating and you're constantly walking back and forth, the hair will just, you know, it can just cause odors, it can um, hold bacteria. But like I said, if you want to skip that step, you do not have to do that at all. You do not have to do that if you do not want to because it is natural. And a lot of ladies are not even allowed to be shaving. Um, and a lot of them don't even know how to shave. So, I do not want to mess you guys up and I do not want to get you guys in, like, anything you, that, you, that you don't really want to be in because I know a lot of ladies for the first time once they watch videos they like to get motivated and like go do first time things and don't really watch like don't really know how to do it and they go ahead and go shave and they come out all cut up with razor burns and just be really really careful but also with that being said I really suggest these razors because these will not give you um, bumps or razor burns like that especially if you use it the right way and you want to use it in the direction that your hair is growing in okay so yeah just I definitely suggest these Chic Hydro Silk they might be expensive but it's a really good investment it's just really bomb razors well they come with four of them in this box and they I'm gonna just like I told y'all, in my house, we round off numbers. So we gonna round it off to the highest number, okay? So basically, I'm gonna round it off to $20 because it was like 16 bucks. So I'm gonna just round it off to $20. So go in the store with $20. And you might have to purchase yourself a body wash too, okay? All right, so this tip right here, um, a lot of females might not be with it and most females might be like, yes, girl, I definitely understand what you're saying because I feel it. I do the same thing. So basically... I like to use tampons on um, majority of my period instead of pads. So I like to switch them up back and forth, but I mostly use tampons because tampons really do not cause any odors. Honestly, like you won't have odors like that on your period. Okay, so why I'm saying this is because on the pad, on the pad, basically I'm going to open it up. On the pad, it's like this, right? So it's like this and it's in your underwear like this and your, you know, your area is right here. The blood, mm. The blood is constantly coming down onto it and you're constantly walking and you're just moving and it's just in there and you're just sitting with a bunch of blood down there and it's literally just causing odors. It's literally just sitting down there causing a lot of odor. I'm sorry if you guys can hear that music. I'm going to really try to talk louder over it now because I do not want to get copyrighted. I do not want you guys to hear that. So let me talk a little louder. I'm sorry if I'm too loud. If I get, if I'm too loud right now, you guys can just turn on your volume because um, you'll still be able to hear me at a, like a good, at a decent level. But yeah, you guys, I really suggest you using pads. Now, listen, 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 listen. 
If you are not allowed to use pads, do not go and use them. So in the beginning, I wasn't allowed to use tampons either, but I told my mom that I really did not like pads. Like I, They made me so miserable on my period. They made me so miserable. I cannot stand them. They leak. They're horrible. They literally just do not do the job. Then my underwear get messed up using pads. So I just went along and I started using tampons. They are literally, they keep you odor free. They, um, they have you feeling like, like you don't even have anything in there. They have you feeling like you're not even on your period because you do not have it's not wet down there it's not um it's not it's just not uncomfortable down there it's not like that i'm sorry my family's like really really loud y'all i'm really really sorry but yeah yeah i really suggest tampons they are literally just the best way to go i only have like three more of these um you buy cotex ones but I really, really love the Uvac Cotex ones, and I really like the Playtex ones. But since the week that I was on my period this month, we were kind of low on money. My mom went ahead and got me these ones, which these are like, um, these are like not as expensive. These are like a knockoff by Uvac Cotex. These are compared to Uvac Cotex ones. And these are actually really, 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 really good. I actually might go pick up more of these just because these are really, really bomb. And if they're cheap, then I'll probably go pick up more. But, which they probably are cheap because they're like, they're this kind, and she got them for a reason. Um... But yeah, y'all, these are like really, really cool. I do not know why, why they make the dang boxes so big and why they make the tampons so big because these Ubi Cosex ones are really little. They come with 18 just like this, but the box is so compact. Like, it's so compact. That's why I love Ubi Cosex as well because their cute packaging is just... I just love you by Cotex and Playtex. They're really, really good. But yeah, y'all, my first time using a tampon, I was so scared. I was so scared that I was gonna, it was gonna be like losing your virginity because I was scared that like my hymen was gonna break because I really was not with it. But my friend, we had planned on going swimming at her new crib for the longest time. All of a sudden, boom, my period hits. And she's like, girl, you're gonna have to use the tampon because you're still coming over my house. You're still coming over to swim. And I'm like, no, I'm not using it. Like, I'm not using it. But she was like, no, girl, I really want you to come over. Like, please, like, I really want you to come over. We had planned on going shopping, getting our nails done, going back to go swimming. But I sucked it up and I used it the first time I used it I did not put it in right and it was very uncomfortable But the second time I put it in girl, I did not feel nothing and after that I was like, yep, I'm getting more tampons because tampons are the bomb y'all tampons are the bomb Okay, so now also I definitely 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 suggest all through the day that you wipe yourself when you go to change your tampon or you go to change your pad especially if you're using a pad especially if you're using a pad please 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 Go ahead and use some wipes. Now, I honestly forgot to mention this during the beginning, but I definitely suggest you take a shower two times a day, and if you have two, three times a day, but I definitely suggest you take one in the morning time and at night time when it's that time of the week just because you really have to on that time um, just, just, just to feel fresh, just to stay fresh, just to be confident during that week because, you know, confidence can kind of be low during that week. You got hormones are going everywhere. Your feelings and your emotions are everywhere. It's just like that, okay? But... Like I was saying, go ahead and use wipes all throughout the day. These are actually baby wipes. These are from Dollar General. These are the Dollar General brand, okay? Also, if you don't like to use baby wipes, then you can go ahead and use some Summer's Eve wipes. I honestly do not be using these. I don't know why. I have like a... I don't know, but I have like two different kinds in here. Um, I have this kind. I have like the... The Island Splash kind, I don't even know the names because I don't really be using them, but the sh and then the Sheer Floral. Like, I used to use these because I used to have two boxes of them, but then I ended up just colliding them into this box. Honestly, um, I do not mess with, like, the Summer's Eve um, washes or whatever, but honestly, the wipes will do you actually pretty good because these I have not had a problem with, like, irritating me, none of that. I haven't heard anything bad on the Summer's Eve wipes. Um... But yeah, I honestly do suggest these because these actually do get you clean while you're um while you're applying this down there. It'll get like a really good you know cleanse or whatever because I don't know it's whatever they put in these will actually keep you clean and then come like a lot of product on the wipe. So you might have to go on with some tissue afterwards and like wipe yourself to dry yourself up because you do not want to have any leftover nothing down there, any leftover moisture, none of that because that right there is not good for you. You don't want to have like a lot of moisture down there that can cause infections, that can cause all types of stuff. So. Be careful with that and make sure that you're not um, leaving no type of, you know, wetness down there. All right, so the next tip is to use a good body wash. Now, while you're in the soap, matter of fact, no. While you're in the shower, go ahead and get a good bar soap too. So like I showed you in my body wash, I still soap collection. I got like a good amount of soap or whatever, like bar soaps. I go through bar soap way too fast. I do not know why, but I just do. So get a good bar soap. Get yourself really, really clean with some hot water and a rag. And like I told y'all on my hygiene video, how to get really, really clean. Go ahead and watch that video because I really, I really, I really got into detail with how to get yourself clean. So go ahead and watch that video. But 
basically you want to use a hot hot water get a clean rag get some get a bar soap and clean yourself real, real good then go on with some body wash which is a really good smelling body wash i like to use caress i really, su I really suggest caress to the ladies go ahead and go with like a caress body wash or whatever body wash that you use that smells good go ahead in with that and you'll smell super super good get a lot too don't be trying to like scrimp on it it's cheap go ahead and get a lot of it on there all right go ahead and get a lot and go ahead and get yourself super super, super clean so your bathroom is smelling good you're smelling good you're just fresh and clean you feel me so yeah all right so the last thing that i request is to get some good smell goods on your body so basically you can go in with like a good um lotion um now victoria's secret lotions can be kind of watery sometimes so you could mix it with like some vaseline or like some coconut oil that's what i do sometimes um but victoria's secret lotions smell really 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 good and i definitely highly 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 suggest victoria's secret lotions now the reason why I suggest Victoria's Secret Lotions and not like Bath and Body Works and stuff like that is because Bath and Body Works don't stay on you all day. And also, you guys, if you don't want to use, you know, you know, the smell good stuff, then you can use like the regular lotions. Like I have regular lotions like Vaseline lotion, cocoa butter lotion, all that other stuff. But I'm suggesting the Victoria's Secret ones just because the Victoria's Secret has a really good, strong smell. So moisture body so moisturize your body fully through with this lotion not this lotion but whatever lotion you want this is the captivated one um go ahead and moisturize your body fully through get a lot of lotion do not scrimp on that either and get your whole body moisturized and then go ahead and spray yourself down with the captivated well not just this but go ahead and spray yourself down with any body splash that you have go ahead and spray down fully sis and i mean a lot do not scrimp on this either perfume i do not scrimp on because i like to smell good so go ahead in with that and then if you have like expensive perfumes or whatever, like you know, like the like the real good perfumes, then I suggest you go in with one of those, which is the Juicy Couture one. I kind of like to savor this one because it's really really expensive, and your girl is not rich. My family is not rich. I did not grow up in a rich household. Your girl grew up broke. So when I got this John, I was really really excited. My mom really is just the bomb for getting this for me. She got it actually like on this website that sells um, them for cheaper, and it's called fragrance.net so if you want to go find really good perfumes for cheaper then go ahead and go to fragrance.net so i definitely suggest you go to fragrance.net but this is my only like real real high-end perfume and this is just the juicy couture one and i don't like to use it that much because i know when i run out of it i'm probably not gonna get no good perfume no time after that <sighs> one day i will have like a whole variety of good perfumes like that's my dream like one day i will be able to afford it you know jesus will bless me okay jesus will bless me so basically go in with the good perfume and go in everywhere if it's a really expensive perfume you do not have to use as much as you use as your body spray but just go in spray a good amount all over your body get a good good amount and then you know go ahead with your day but when i do use this which is once in a while i do like to use a good amount just because when i do use it i want it to, i want to actually stick out and smell it i don't want to use a little bit and then scrimp and not be able to smell it no i want to smell it all day long if if my mama finna pay good money for it then i'm gonna be able to smell it okay but i just use it once in a while when i use it i use the you know a really good amount but with the body spray i go in on body spray like i go in on body spray i use a lot of body spray now if you cannot afford the high-end perfumes you can't afford all that girl do not be ashamed because your girl use knockoff perfumes too i have a lot of knockoff perfumes over there but my mom went to like this place or whatever i honestly think it was a dollar store well basically this will happen i prayed to jesus to bless me with some more perfume and he really did my mom went to like the dollar store place or whatever and they had like these perfumes and like these boxes with like the matching lotion and body wash i don't really use those but i do use these and she went ahead and got me a bunch of boxes she found them for like really really cheap they were like really really low because they had marked them down after christmas i believe so i was so 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 excited and these ain't no like dollar store perfumes they're not that they're really not that like you can you don't even have to go to the dollar store you can go to other stores and get knockoff perfumes like you can go to rainbow i got i went to rainbow that like the perfume that i'm wearing today is from rainbow like there's like knockoff perfumes that you can get for cheaper from different places but my mom got this from like a dollar store i believe i'm i'm pretty sure um Correct me if I'm wrong, mom. But basically, this smells really, really good. Basically, they have, like, all types of perfumes that are knockoff. And they're way cheaper. Like, you can get something like this for, like, I don't really know. But when I went to Rainbow, they had, like, get three for $10. So I was like, what? Are you kidding me? I'd like to replace these as a body spray as well because honestly, they're not that they're not that um they're not that expensive and you could use them as much as you want because they're cheap, sis. Literally, I love them to death. You can also i really suggest this as well last tip last tip layer your perfumes and layer your lotion i'm sorry if i'm rambling in this video but i really want to get the word out to y'all to like how to really stay fresh but yeah you guys like i was saying just to layer your perfume so use more than one perfume you can layer them make sure that they go together though so that you're not spraying 
too much perfumes together and they just stink but basically yeah y'all just layer your perfumes use a lot of perfume do not scrimp on the perfume do not scrimp on it as long as you're clean as long as you got a clean body go ahead and use as much perfume as you want but don't ever think in a lifetime that perfume is a bath don't ever think in a lifetime that that is a shower and that will replace your shower. Don't ever think that because that is not okay. You have to actually get clean and then go ahead with your perfume and your lotion because that's really when your perfume and your lotion will stick out the most, sis. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Go ahead and hit the like button if you did. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you if you also are new here and you just like want to hit the subscribe button because you feel like my personality is bomb. Honestly, sometimes through the video I like to be funny and sarcastic, but this situation I was just trying to like be serious with y'all. It's just like a serious. It's just just a serious topic so if you know this video go ahead and give it a like okay go ahead and subscribe button if you know here go ahead and comment down below if you're one of my real OGs and you're part of the blessed squad also if you made it to the end of this video and you subscribe then you are part of the blessed squad if you are subscribed you are just officially part of the blessed squad okay i'm praying for every single one of y'all because i'm happy that i finally have a name for you guys i pray for my best blessed squad every single day i love every single one of you guys oh my brush up is coming out i hope that y'all have a great great day if you're not having a good day and if something's going on just go ahead and hit me up and i will definitely pray for you and if you need somebody to talk to i'm here for every single one of y'all because y'all here for me y'all be watching my videos y'all be commenting y'all be liking y'all be watching just y'all just bomb okay y'all just straight bomb but go ahead and do not let the devil bring you guys down today do not let him bring you down because the devil is a liar and just know that and as soon as you start to do good in your life as soon as you start to you know um get happier and start to get closer to jesus he is going to come in even more than he ever has and he's going to try to attack you even more because he knows that you're trying to get up on your feet but you can't let him you cannot let him. The devil is a liar. And guess what? Guess who has already won? Jesus has already won. So at the end of the day, we just have to walk with Jesus so that we are winning too. We're losing if we're not walking with Jesus. We're straight losing and we're, we're asleep if you're not walking with Jesus. You're not living if you ain't walking with Jesus. So go ahead and do your prayers. Repent of your sins that you know that you did. And repent of the sins that you don't know that you did. Because we want to be clean. We want to have a clean trade. We're trying to go to heaven, y'all. We're really trying to go to heaven. I really want my blessed, squad, my blessed squad to go to heaven. I really want to get the word out. So just know, no weapon formed against you shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. Keep doing what you gotta do and let's stay on this grind let's stay on this walk with jesus let's get closer to jesus let's get my people in one day i'm gonna have a whole meet and greet type concert type thing where i'm gonna get all my people together and we're just gonna have a whole fun time blasting good music i'm gonna get up on that stage and this is one day. this is like uh this is a goal that i have and i I, I pray and with jesus i have faith that he will actually let this goal happen he will let this goal but yeah, but I just want to get my subscribers together. We can have a whole concert, get up in that, get some good music playing, get some good drinks, get some good food. Yeah, yeah, we're going to be supplying everything there because Jesus will supply it, especially if, if his people are coming together to place him, praise him. We're going to get on there. We're going to be like, you rebuke them demons in the mighty name of Jesus. Hey, we're going to get up in there. We're going to make the devil mad, okay? But we're going to make Jesus happy. And we already make him happy by what we are doing, okay? But yeah, you guys, I love every single one of you guys. Bye. I got class when I get up in the morning. Can't stop, won't stop. Gotta keep going. Gotta keep grinding. Can't move slowly. If you want the worm, then you gotta be early. Sitting contemplating, but your life won't get you nowhere. Walking, talking is a waste of good air. Blackout drop when it enters your air.